Rockers and Recovery Media is dedicated to carrying the message of addiction recovery through music, news, events, and festivals taking place within and not limited to the clean and sober community. Rockers and Recovery Radio is based on opinion only and is not meant to treat or diagnose any health or mental health issue of any kind. If you feel you need help for any health-related issues, please contact a physician or mental health professional. The opinions expressed by our... Welcome to the show. This is John Hollis, and uh, you're listening to Waking Up Blessed. I'm your host uh, for the next half an hour, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 9.30. The goal of the show is to start the day with some inspiration and hope, and we use uh, anything from health and wellness interviews to personal stories of experience, strength, and hope to shed a light on the fact that we can be inspired and we're waking up blessed and we have another day. It's all about hope and giving hope to somebody that might not uh, have any as they wake up this morning or come to. Uh, The show is part of the Rockers and Recovery Radio Network. You can find out more information about that at rockersandrecovery.com. And there's all types of uh, past shows there to click on the radio tab to our recovery partners that make all of our day-to-day operations at Rockers and Recovery Media possible. Uh, We are a media organization. We've been around since 2008, and uh, today's show is sponsored by SoberMap, the SoberMap app. So you can check them out at either the App Store or the Google Play Store, and that's SoberMap app. Check that out at uh, the App Store or Google Plus, Google Play. Um, Check them out there. And I want to welcome everybody to the show. We usually start out each day uh, with a featured quote or a a thought of the day. And uh, today is uh, kind of a cool thing. I've been doing this thing and I've been sharing about it. Um, You know, the whole uh, doing 30 days of Proverbs. And um, it's kind of a cool thing, 31 days of Proverbs, you know, each day for each uh, um, day of the month. And um, today is, of course, day day, uh, 29, and um, we have a really cool thing. It says pride. This is uh, Proverbs 30, uh, and it's uh, 25, 30, 25. Um, It says, oh, I'm sorry, it's uh, Proverbs uh, 23, or, or 30, 23, and pride ends in humiliation while humility brings honor so it's it's kind of a cool thing when i look at these passages uh, that you know i'm reading each day i never realized how much power was in uh you know the proverbs and and you know just you know picking up the bible and reading it um and looking at it in a new light um as far as my recovery was concerned so it's really been helpful for me recently and a lot of the changes and the things that I was going through with rockers and recovery and um, family stuff and the move to Tallahassee from South Florida after we'd been down there, or I'd been down there for 25 years, there was just a lot of things that were going on in my life. And to start reading this stuff and start to look at things in a totally different way has been really, really cool for me. Um, Listen, you know, I'm not here to preach to anybody i'm just finding a new way for me to be able to um find new insight into my own recovery and you know pride ends in humiliation how many times have i in my life been so prideful and uh you know it always ends in degradation humiliation and all the rest of the things that come with um you know being uh prideful uh you know well Humility brings honor. You know, Any time that I'm humble and I approach things in a humble way, things always work out. And, you know, there's more love involved in the long run. And it's something I have to work on every day. And there's a reading that goes with this. It's kind of cool. It says, pride always sets up for humiliation. Pride tells us, I'm strong. I don't need anyone, anyone's help. It blinds us from our weakness and prevents us from seeking the people and the help we need. Humility says, I need improvement. Could you help me? Those of us who maintain a humble perspective, realizing that we are weak and vulnerable, 
will look for the help and support we need for success and recovery. Humility will protect us from the devastation of relapse. Just really cool stuff, you know, and I get to start my day with this stuff, you know, and I get to start it with you guys. So, you know, again, if if, uh, you'd like to make a comment or you would like to talk to us, you're more than welcome to go to rockersandrecovery.com and uh, click on the the contact page and send us uh, your thoughts for the day, too. Um, If you'd like to be on the show and share your, you know, your experience about waking up blessed, that would be great. We would love to have you. Um, We're always looking for somebody that can put out inspiration. There's enough devastation out there today where it's just, you know, where you look around, it's just insanity after insanity. I posted something on Rockers and Recovery Facebook page last night that I just found totally, totally unbelievable. I couldn't even believe that, uh, you know, something like that would actually happen. And I mean, listen, I've done a lot of things in in my addiction and that were just uh, disgusting, My, you know, things that I did. And I was feeling for this poor girl and her family, um, you know, uh, was a woman accused of injecting her children with meth and letting men sexually assault them. I mean, listen, when you see things like that and headlines like that, addiction is, a, is alive and well. And, you know, I don't know if you believe in Satan and, and God and all of those things, but I do. You know what I mean? I believe there's an evil part out there. And when you put that chemical in you, you can become very evil. And, and again, as we're reading this morning, you know, there's no humility in that. And it always ends in insanity. So I, I really, really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in this morning and be a part, being a part of uh, you know, our show. And we have a great guest on this morning. His name is Daniel Holt. And Daniel's going to talk to you about waking up blessed also. You know, this is uh, kind of a cool uh, cool segment because Daniel is one of those guys that I uh, really look towards for uh, inspiration myself. You know, when I'm down, Daniel's one of the guys that I reach out to. And he has a wealth of uh, information, recovery information that he's been blessed with uh, walking a continuous road to recovery for for a long time and um, he's also a musician and has played at rockers and recovery events over the years and you know somebody that's in my life that i get to see walk the walk you know there's a lot of people out there that um, you know for whatever it was all about with rockers and recovery some people had their their motives with the festivals and all of that stuff and it's all good Um, You know, whatever that motive was, it's all good. But one of the things that I can tell you about Daniel is it was a pureness of heart, and he came for the music and and just loved on everybody. And, you know, and through that I was able to see a lot of different things. Um, You know, comparing, you know, Daniel as my beacon in the future for people that I have involved with, uh, you know, maybe events or festivals that uh, we were doing. But, uh, you know, listen, the good news is is that uh, we're, uh, uh, we're blessed this morning. We're waking up. Any day we're above dirt is a great day. And, um, you know, I love, uh, love Daniel and uh, all that he does for uh, the recovery community. Also, um, I want to also talk about the uh, 88th um, Came to Believe retreat that's going to be happening. And... Um, you can uh, check that out uh, at uh, Came to Believe and um, you know uh, Came to Believe dot com. It's a really really cool uh, event. I've gone uh, two years and uh, that I went. I missed this past year, but I'm looking forward to uh, going this year. And I think it's going to be a huge uh, huge event. And it's the 88th uh, annual Leesburg Retreat, Came to Believe Spiritual Awakening Retreat. Uh, May 18th through the 20th, 2018, and it says uh, Friday evening through Sunday afternoon, and um, uh, it's uh, Life Enrichment Center. It's in Leesburg, Florida, but uh, it's really to uh, go through the 12-step 12-step experience over the weekend. I think uh, if you get a chance to check it out, you'll really, really like it. And there's featured speakers there, and you know it's really cool. So you can check it out. 
by going to came to believe dot org came to believe dot org it's really a cool cool thing and uh, check it out I think that you'll uh, you'll appreciate um, uh, the amount of time and effort that eighty eight years <laughs> That's how the 88th Leesburg retreat. I mean, this is amazing, you know, 88 years. So check it out. Um, and uh, came to believe.org. You can find out all that information there. We have our friend on Daniel Holt. How are you doing, Daniel? Good morning, John. <laughs> you there? You have enough coffee in you, brother? Getting there, man. Always blessed. <laughs> Working on the waking up. You know. That's a beautiful thing. What do you what what is waking up blessed to you? Uh, gratitude. Mm. Alive, mm. clean, food, shelter, clothing. Mm. Never mm. thought that could happen. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought that could happen. And then uh and it has, thanks to you know, the programs, the fellowship and the higher power. It's amazing, man. How are you doing? It's a good day, man. Like I say, any yeah. day I'm above dirt, it's a good day, you know. So, oh. so here's our here's our uh, our uh, uh, quote for today, or uh, which is you know our thought for today too. It's uh, pride ends in humiliation, while humility brings honor. Why don't you share on that? I um. I'm not, uh, don't really have the humbleness my higher power does. Mm. I need to get myself out of the way and realize that uh, all this stuff is a gift. It's not my doing. Um, uh, I'm uh, I'm really good at screwing things up, you know. Mm. Um, I try to lead and say my prayers and, and I try to lead with love. Uh, but I'm human and I, I, I'm not perfect. Um, but once in a while, and my higher power will come through without me even knowing it, despite myself. And and something good might happen or somebody might uh, hear something or feel something. Um, uh, I might actually have helped, not me, my higher power might have helped someone through me, and that's a fucking blessing. Uh, excuse my language. Mm. <laughs> and that is the, that is the, a, a blessing. And mm. I can't I can't take credit for any of that. Mm. You know, I'm uh, I feel uh, I feel better when uh, my higher power can help me uh, help another person place a thing. And that's where the credit goes. How does your morning start out for you? You know, it's like, you know, you have to get, you know, for me, you got to get ready for the day. So it's reading what I'm reading now, <laughs> plus, you know, other recovery, you know, uh, recovery information, but, and a lot of coffee. Um, you know, how does yeah. that, how's that day start for you? Oh, man, I open my eyes, uh, and it's freaking wonderful for a change. It's a, uh, <laughs> It's a beautiful day, and I just got to remember the gratitude. Um, stretch, look out the window, go, geez, life is actually kind of good today. No cops, no doctors, no lawyers, you know what I mean? No disease, no... Uh... And then head for the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I do the, the reflections reading sometimes, or one day at a time sometimes, say some prayers, drink some more coffee, and play on the phone. I got no life, you know. It's just wonderful. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, where where are your feet planted this morning? Because you're back and forth between uh, Delray and uh, up in Vermont. Where are you at? I'm. I actually I got back into uh, Vermont uh, a couple weeks ago and uh, really missed the place and the <laughs> groups and the people. And uh, mm. just glad to be back. It's the snow's disappearing, man. Spring is uh, popping. There's buds and birds and and mud. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. 
You know, we tie we're, we we want to tie this in because I think it's important for people to to hear your message with this too. Is you know, is music's a healer, and um, one of the things that I really think that uh, our audience needs to hear is how music works for you um, in in relation to your recovery. Um, you, you know, we've talked about this, and uh, I talked with a, a lot of the other guys in RIR. Uh, what a blessing, uh, rockers in recovery. Um, same with uh, Andy and Drew and Johnny and uh, a lot of us that, that um, got the got the magic and the miracle of getting clean, and then got to got to do something we really loved again, and done it sober and clean. And that was an amazing uh, magic and miracle. And then <laughs> to be invited to uh, the rockers and recovery stuff and start uh, connecting and being able to to share uh, anytime, any place, anywhere uh, with more brothers in recovery, uh, giving back, uh, it's been such a blessing and um, a debt of gratitude to you for the stuff you've done. Uh, the messages you've put out, the uh, the effort and energy, the blessings that you give on a daily. Oh my God, you're an inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Listen, all glory to God. <laughs> hey, one of the things I know for sure is that um, you know it, it's God's grace, and um, you know, at best I should be sitting in a corner in some insane asylum having Twinkies thrown at me or graham crackers and milk, you know what I mean? At best, you know, um, you know, doing the, the paper, sh- uh, shuffle with the slippers and, uh, the graham crackers and milk. That would, that should be me at best. You know what I mean? A little bit of, drooling, um, so, yeah. but yeah, drooling, you know, you know, the whole thing and, and maybe even, you know, other things, you know what I mean? The, the a straight jacket was always appropriate. Um, you know, so the reality is, is that, um, it's guys like you that made that happen. Um, you know, listen, I look at rockers and recovery and the things that we do musically, um, and the talent that we've had over the years. And we have been very, very blessed and thank God for it. Um, so it's, uh, more God than than anything. Amazing stuff, man, isn't it? Isn't it? Um, when I think when I think about it, I have so much gratitude for the higher power uh, that's working, you know. Because, like you said, left to our own devices. <laughs> oh my God, Not a man. chance. Not yeah. a chance. Yeah. That's Shout waking out, up like blessed, it. right? If I can remember that yeah. in the morning, oh my God. <laughs> One of the things that I I dug up um, for this show was. Uh, are you um, playing the 2012 Rockers and Recovery Music Fest with Johnny B and the Road Dogs and um, Remedy? And uh, we're going to be playing oh, that yeah. at the end of, end of the show, man. So it's going to be kind of a cool thing. But, I mean, think about it. Um, you know, that music that you put in and the, and the people that you're able to help. I understand that you do a meeting um, at your house, and it's a musical meeting. Uh, tonight, actually, one of the blessings, uh, I got uh, friends uh, from the rooms, because no matter where I go, I can get into the rooms and connect with some other weirdos like myself that got a common bond of gratitude, and uh, and they actually, they come up on Thursday evenings, and uh, we make noise. We sit around and uh, laugh about stuff and and uh, make noise, and it's a... Uh, I have a lot of gratitude for that. Oh, my God. You know? <laughs> Jeez. Who would have thought? Would have and thought? what's and it kind of like? Is it is it around, you know, recovering music, or is it just jamming out and just enjoying life? Uh, we're not centered on recovering music. We're uh, going through whoever wants to pull out a song and say, hey, let's try this, and then we do that. And, yeah, but everyone in the... You know, there must be about 30 or 40 years of recovery sitting around on the instruments. And they'll oh, wow. share, uh, cool. you know, we get to talk about our day and uh, laugh about our problems and, and and then make some pretty noise together. And that's a beautiful thing. Never thought that could happen. 
in a very unique way. I mean, you know, uh, if you think about it, not, not, there's not a lot of uh, meetings out there that, uh, you know, people are sitting behind their instruments and, um, you know, using music to, uh, you know, enjoy their moment, but also being able to share what's going on in their lives. Kind of a cool thing. It's pretty casual. I love it. I love it. You're right that we're up in the sticks. There isn't mm-hmm. a lot of I love when you, you you get your message out and uh, hit the communities like you did in Maine and Philly and stuff like that and uh, places that don't have uh, that need the recovery message and need the community and the fellowship and the meetings and uh, you know this is just uh, magic and miracles happen because uh, from hanging out in the the rooms around here for a couple of years and getting to know some people and finding other common bonds besides. Uh, our desire to <laughs> stay clean and sober. Um, you make connections, and uh, for the last uh, what three, four months now, uh, the guys have been coming up on Thursdays, and we have a little music meeting and get to have real fun. I never thought that could, you know. I never laughed uh, for decades at the end of my disease. Mm. Laughing wasn't mm. the thing that was in my uh, in my heart. These days. <laughs> These days I can't help but laugh because it's just too uh, absurdly wonderful to to believe. You know, came to believe. Yeah. Yeah, man. We got um, we got some uh, very cool things coming up in the future. Yeah, and yeah man. Yeah, that's going to be really, yeah, really cool. You, you should try you to walk and recover too. yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be. Listen, you know something that has really, you know, that's that's something I'm going to. I'm leaving all the bells and whistles at home. That's a retreat that, you know, <laughs> I get to be able to go and plug in, man. Has nothing to do with rockers and recovery. Has nothing to do with me. All I can do is just go there and and be able to get plugged in and get some get some spirit. The last couple of ones I was doing streaming for them and doing other things, and I said this year, man, I'm just going to go and be. Um, because, you know, hey, listen, uh, I've come to learn over over the years through humility and some humiliation <laughs> that, yeah. that, you know, if you, you're putting all that other stuff in front of your recovery, one day it ain't going to end up good. So, you know, right. it's a, it's going to be a day or a day. It's going to be a three days for me, you know what I mean, that I can go and just take care of um, my spiritual growth and and do some house cleaning and, and do some other stuff that needs to be done, I believe, annually and semi-annually. So, you know, it's uh, it's going to be a good thing. But we, I would love to just have you come down and we can hang out. That would be great. That sounds beautiful. We'll talk that more about that. That sounds beautiful. We've got to take time meeting. to enjoy this stuff, man. I know, you, I know your higher power works through you, and uh, you've been doing <laughs> crazy insane uh carrying messages for so long uh yeah man you gotta, you gotta get some time to sit back and enjoy the day yeah man yeah and, and you know and something i was i was sharing about it before we got on the air that you know there's um, them insane moments that you know <clears throat> god puts like daniel holtz in my life and you know and, and and gets to you know if if I'm running on insanity and all of that stuff it, it tends to and you're great at shows for me you're like a counterbalance for me at shows you know what I mean? so it's always, always kind of cool to have you around um, you know so the cool the, but the cool part is is that God God knows exactly what you need and He puts those people in your life and I can't I, you know I know for a fact that. I can't do this alone. I got to have somebody that, or people that are in my life along with my higher power because people are the beacon that I can look to. Now, not to say that, you know, <laughs> that person's perfect or anything, but you know something? You feel comfortable with people and you want to be able to find somebody that you can share what you need to share and 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 without uh without fear of it being plastered on Facebook. You know what I mean? So so the, the good, there's the good news is is that there's only a few out there for me, but you know they're there, and if I need them, I can pick up the phone and call them, and 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 I believe that they feel the same way too. So, and you're one of them, brother. So I want to yeah, thank you for busy. yeah, man. I want to thank you for for being on the show with us today, and I look forward to you know uh, seeing you soon. And most importantly, maybe we'll get uh, 
those guys to come on one night and do a live set on Facebook, uh, Facebook Live. That Any Thursday, cool. we're always here for you. All right, bro. Love and glad forward. Yeah. Well, listen, man, you have a blessed day, and we uh, love you, brother, and uh, we love look forward you to you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Absolutely. Love you, and have a beautiful day. All right, man. Bye-bye. There you go. Daniel Holt, Waking Up Blessed. If you enjoyed the show today, we're here uh, Monday through Friday. And, of course, uh, 9 to 9.30 a.m. Please check us out. Share it with a friend. And, uh, of course, uh, thanks to Sober Map app. You can find them at the App Store and Google Play. Download Sober Map, and it gives you all kinds of 12-step uh, meetings in your area through the app, just like you were using Yelp. So you can check them out again. Sober Map app at the App Store and Google Play. And I uh, want to thank everybody for being a part of the show again. You guys rock. And I'm going to do uh, uh, Daniel Holt is a bass player, and this is from back in 2012. And uh, him and Johnny being a road dogs, uh, and Drew Preston was there, Johnny Burke. It was just an incredible show. And they were one of several bands that played that day. And uh, here you go. It's Remedy, uh, Daniel Holt, and Johnny being a road dog. <laughs> and Recovery Radio is based on opinion only and is not meant to treat or diagnose any health or mental health issue of any kind. If you feel you need help for any health-related issues, please contact a physician or mental health professional. The opinions expressed by our guests are not necessarily those of Rockers and Recovery. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. ChumbaCasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchases, over by law, 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.